We're now going to use Excel once again, but this time we're going to be inserting a macro and we're going to build it into an existing template. So what I have here is a template set up to calculate the hours an employee has worked during the week and times it by their pay rate. All I'm going to be inserting into this template is a macro that quickly inserts the sum formula for the totals hours work because basically I'm sick of typing equals sum and then the cell range. Okay, once this macro is set up, then I can reuse it over and over. So what I'm going to do is highlight the cell, and I already have highlighted the cell, K2. I'm going to go Developer, and I'm going to go Record Macro. It's going to be called Quick Sum. The shortcut I'm going to use is Control u I'm not going to use S because Control s is Save, and that's quite important to me. Okay, and it's going to quickly insert... the sum formula and I'm going to go OK macro recording all I'm going to do is go equals sum cell range enter stop recording OK and then let's try it out control U perfect control U control U control U Okay, and it's actually doing it, and I can see I'm getting my different uh, results, so I know that the actual macro is working. So now I'm happy to have this macro inserted into this template, and it could potentially be used in other areas and more efficiently. So once again, I have to save it as a macro-enabled template. So I'm going to go File, Save As, okay, and let's put it with my Excel templates, okay, and I'm going to go to and save it as a macro enabled now not workbook because I actually want it to be a template so an Excel macro enabled template an XLTM now just like with Word it defaults to this custom office template I do not want to save it there I want it to have easy access to it so I'm going to put it in my file location okay and my in my Excel template okay it's going to have the serial name, XLTM, and save. All right, so it gives me my warning about having macros embedded into my templates. But basically, that's going to make my life a lot quicker now that whenever I do fill in this data for whatever employee or job setup I have, I can now just press Control U and the sum formula quickly gets inserted in. So give this activity a try, create the template, create the macro, and then create other macros that will insert other formulas as well.